Hi, I'm Mark Schiffner from Venom Products. Today we're going to talk about the geometry that's in the helix tracks and also the numbers that correspond to that geometry and what that means for tuning your vehicle. So this is a team lightweight clutch and this is our helix in it. To determine which angle of the two that come on the helix is installed in the clutch, you just look for the X that's on the clutch. That lines up with the, the numbers of where it's installed. Unless somebody installed it backwards, then it'll be opposite the X. It doesn't matter which way it goes in, but just for, for uh, our sake, we always put it next to the X so we can keep track. And then I'm going to go through what these numbers 58, 40, 0.46, ER mean. So there's basically four different kinds of progressions when we talk about the cam geometry. There's the straight, the full progressive, a partial progressive, and a dual progressive. I'll go through each one of these and how that geometry is in a second. But first I'm going to talk about the, the option that's the last letters on the numbers that are on the helix, and that's ER, or if it doesn't say anything, it's not ER. You can see on this clutch, it has an ER notch, which is for electronic reverse. If you have a two-stroke snowmobile where the motor runs backwards, what it has to do is lock it in low gear, and that's why we put an ER notch in it. So if your helix says ER, it's made for uh, electronic reverse in a two-stroke snowmobile. If you don't have ER, don't try to go in reverse because it could conceivably wreck your belt. It'll just run the belt down to the bottom of the bell and it won't go anywhere. So next I'll go into the different styles of helix geometry. So the first geometry is the simplest one and that is uh, straight. That's like the old school helixes of old, like we had 36 straight, 38 straight. It'll basically say on your numbers, the number dash STR. That just means that the track itself is the same angle from beginning to end on the shift. The second geometry is what we call a full progressive. And that means it will have a number like 5834F. And that means that the progression from beginning to end is a continuous one. It starts at a 58, it ends at a 32, but it's a continuous change from beginning to end from one to the other. The third kind of geometry is what we call a partial progression, and that's what like the, uh, the numbers I said earlier, 58, 38.46, that specifically means it starts at a 58, it ends at a 38, but it gets to 38 in 0.46 or 460 thousandths of shift over the 1.1 inches over the total shift. So it'll get quickly from 58 to 38 in the progression, but then it's a straight 38 from then on out. And finally, the last um, geometry that we make is what we call a dual progressive, where it'll be like a 58, 38, 32.46, where it'll go from 58 degrees to 38 degrees, and 0.46 and then it, it continues to progress out from 50, 38 to 32 in the finish. So we'll be posting a, uh, a graph that shows this more, uh, it makes more sense because we'll show graphs of what it does throughout uh, the helix shift. As always, if you have any questions, please call us at Venom Products at 218-844-3283 and ask for tech and we'll help you out. Thank you.